The Earth today is at a global tipping point. We have to do everything we can to reduce the environmental impact of human life on the planet. The meat industry is responsible for a large amount of uh, global greenhouse gas emissions. Larger demand for meat also means larger demand for pastures to raise the meat and larger demands for crops to feed the meat. All of those come at the expense of tropical forest land. Many, many of the Technion professors are working on research that can potentially contribute to addressing these problems. Technion was established before the State of Israel was established, and the idea was to prepare the next generation to build the nation. Since then, the university has expanded exponentially. Its scientists have been awarded three Nobel Prizes. We're working on interventions in how we build things, how we teach things, how we operate as a society that can help improve our environmental performance and contribute to sustainability. Reducing meat consumption is really something we have to do if we want to protect ourselves from these emerging environmental challenges. Tissue engineering is a field where we create tissues in the lab for regenerative medicine. The idea is to repair or replace damaged tissues in the body. And in tissue engineering, you combine cell with biomaterial to create 3D pieces of tissues. Then you can culture them in vitro to mature the tissue, and then the tissue can be implanted in the body. For many years, we worked on skeletal muscle tissue engineering. And then one of my PhD students came with the idea, why not to use this technology for growing a piece of meat? In the lab, we can take cow cells and we can take edible scaffold and combining them and culturing them and suddenly seeing this muscle fiber forming on edible scaffold that one can now taste and eat, this was really very exciting. The tissue engineering field was uh, mentioned a couple of times during my bachelor's degree in biochemical engineering and I was completely taken by the idea. I really wanted to take part in this development because it sounds like the medicine of the future, so to me it sounds incredible. I really encourage my students to think freely and to come with their own idea and to bring them up and we discuss them together. So this is, I think, one of the basic concepts of research in the academia. We as educators are here to take all of the sum total of human knowledge created up into the point, hand it to our students with the tools to analyze it so they can go on and build upon it and build towards the next generation of scientific knowledge. The technology developed by Professor Levenberg is a main component of Alephom's product today. When cultivated meat will replace a large part of the industrial farming facilities, we expect that uh, we can rebalance the use of natural resources, stop deforestation and the climate change impact of meat production. We have one and a half more year of development until we uh, reach commercial product and by then we should be identical to the meat we uh, all know and like. Every step here is a new one. No one did anything like this before. This is why we're all here. To think about a future where the cows can eat and enjoy freely their life and still we have a stake in the plate, I think it's something that we can really imagine. It's huge, like, to enjoy meat without harming animals. It's something that is really a game changer. For me personally, my main goal at Ale Farms is to lead a real change in the way we manage our natural resources in order to leave a better legacy to the future generations.